This conference will now be recorded. Now it is standard recording. Fine. Uh, great. So very, very good morning, uh, uh, Hamant. So if you remember, like in the previous uh, exercise, we did environment setup. And before that, we did an exercise on uh, SAP UI Find Fury introduction. And if you remember in the previous exercise, we spoke about there are different channels are available across the UI application development, which are named as SAP Web ID Cloud and SAP Web ID Personal Edition. And there are like you know, two other free license edition channels also through we can develop the UI applications, which are named as Eclipse and HANA Studio. And I have given like a note among all these like you know editors was completely developed by with the one single channel was eclipse corporation eclipse has like you know given as generally like you know for various ids for the all, all the way in the open source development to do many of like you know developers will connect to the eclipse and they develop the various instances so this eclipse was like you know communicated with sap and then like you know whatever the demand on demand they like you know tools they need they have like you know build it and they provide as a hana studio later they want to have a more like you know better way of like you know doing the exercise of templates and exercise of like you know having various other features to integrate they have like you know released one commercial edition with name called sap web ide so all the way irrespective of like you know cloud edition rest of all the like you know instances like sap web by the personal edition or eclipse or hana studio all these like you know tools are needed prerequisite to have a java runtime environment which describes in a short form called jre this jre you can find in your computer with a version 1.62 it will go like you know till 1.9 1.9 any of the version of JRE, if you have in your computer, you can be in a like, you know, run executor without like, you know, value these instances of the SAP Web ID personal edition or Eclipse or HANA studio. In the previous exercise, we already like, you know, checked how to like, you know, evaluate our computer does already like, you know, configured with the JRE or not. If not, you just need to like you know, install as like other softwares of in your computer while installing the VLC media player while installing like you know other software software we generally install with the next next in a similar way we will be going to install JRE 1.7 or above in the same way in your computer once if you get installed then after you can be in a position to launch SAP Web ID or Eclipse or HANA studio so now today we'll be going to do exercise here we'll walk through like you know, the steps which is like you know required ignish to execute the ufa application by using the eclipse edition so here another thing i wanted to highlight here is if you're like you know finding if your computer having any difficulties to load either sap web by the personal edition or eclipse or HANA Studio, you can always like you know, use the SAP Web by the Cloud Edition, or you can like you know, use even the remote desktop, which will be going to offer by Giri. If you communicate with him, he will be going to give you a remote desktop. During that remote desktop, you will be going to find all these instances by default without stopping like you know the any of like you know developments, whatever I do in the following. If you have any difficulties in your like you know system infrastructure don't wait and like you know continue your all the exercises okay however doing this is like you know it's uh, own like you know to have like you know our knowledge generally these instances will be get installed by the it operations team but still it is a developer scope to like you know have this knowledge okay now let's we start like in you know, a today here introduction about the eclipse steps to like you know to get into your computer what are the steps we have to follow we'll walk through and then we'll create simple hello world ufa application then we'll move to the part of like you know actual user interface interfaces creation and so before moving to this i just want to know if you have any of like you know questions i will be like you know feel free to ask your questions and let's get clear your queries and then let's will move to like you know the today's session but do you have any questions hamant here i'm not sure i'm clear with that session okay that's great then okay fine so let's like you know we'll move here set up what all the steps we have to follow here the very first note again i will say that is uh, in order to launch in order to load eclipse oblique hana studio the steps will be remain same for the hana studio as well hana studio uh, is uh, mandatory 
to have prerequisite software is JRE 1.7 or above. So this is a very important instance. It is a mandatory to have in your computer. Then you can like you know process this further like you know, installation of the Eclipse app on a studio or SAP Web ID personal edition. The here the what is like you know Eclipse. Eclipse is IDE which describes that integrated development environment. It is a integrated development environment. So during in this integrated development environment, we can like you know develop various instances where it is like Java or C or C++. Many like you know other programming languages we can build in this. So we can build even SAP UI for also instead of this Eclipse. So here Eclipse is like you know comes with various Eclipse generally. Eclipse generally gives with various versions here Eclipse like you know follows the versions in generally not with the 1.00 2.00 Eclipse all the versions will be addressed as a names Eclipse here versions are named as Juno Kepler Mars Neon Oxygen. So like that various names have been like you know introduced today like you know the latest version you can you will be going to find as here it is Oxygen. Oxygen is the latest version even I'm not sure about it we walk through and we'll see what is the latest version of the Eclipse that has but SAP is like you know these days they decomposed Eclipse to like you know, application development officially SAP was not recommending to like you know to build the NUFA applications through Eclipse but whoever like you know want to do with the free license edition the development then they will be going to use Eclipse for them they have been providing till oxygen whatever the Eclipse leases are there till oxygen SAP UIFA components you can find and you can build the applications so now how to install this Eclipse is similar like SAP web by the personal edition how did you download the package and how did you install like you know explicitly then same way we will be going to walk through over here also for the Eclipse as well the very first step here is download Eclipse download Eclipse from tools.hana.ondemand.com and then after like you know downloading extract and install extract and install and then after place explicitly SAP UI5 plugin. So we need to plug in to place explicitly in SAP UI5 plugin. We need to install in the Eclipse. Then you will be going to drive Eclipse like you know for the UI5 application development. Let's will walk through immediately these steps and like, like you know directly we'll navigate to here the tools.hana.com. So here this is the like you know URL you will be going to use very often for to get download all the client dependent softwares. So today SAP we are giving like you know with a name called tools.hana.ondemand.com. The moment when you navigate into in this URL whatever like you know client side dependent softwares are needed for the developer scope all the softwares you will be going to find here itself in Side. Earlier days they had a like you know practice that they need to navigate to the SAP's market space and get download so much of like you know, longer exercises were there for the developer scope of software to download in their computers but now they made as more it is to be simplified so that how like you know this repository has been got derived and then there is like you know, this many of like an you know, instances which are needed developer scope of like you know softwares are been presented in this tools that hana dot on demand dot Com. During in this you can find here the very first is like you know it was addressing about the download like you know here the SAP cloud platforms or SAP HANA studio or cloud integration SAP UFA all that like you know they have given in a single URL so if you want to like you know download the Eclipse one oxygen if you want to download they have provided here Eclipse software sites they have been presented many of this here you can like you know download any of the like you know, latest version you can just like you know click on the link the moment when you click on the link it is actually readers to the Eclipse like you know here so just like you know click on that the moment if you click on the like you know one of the here 
Eclipse 2019 and 6 like you know packages you will be going to find here the actual Eclipse you're looking for to get download so here so there are like you know many eclipses are available today you can like you know find here the downloads is eclipse uh, here you will find many instances i will be recommend you to like you know download eclipse uh, java enterprise edition one so here i'm just like you know finding here there are like you know java dsl and uh, because when you like you know download the eclipse uh, uh, java enterprise edition so you you will be going to get like you know all the required dependencies also in the same way so here these are like an you know, instance we will be going to require to get download you can find for the windows 64 bit as a one url when mac macintosh like you know, we have one url for linux like you know, we have another url the moment when you click on this windows 64 bit immediately it will be going to download in your computer so you just like you know click on this link then it will be going to start to download in your computer just like you know, click on this so this url for your like you know practice i will be going to present so just like you know we'll present this url over the like you know steps so you will be going to find this like you know, here the link the moment when you click on that link you can see here this was like you know start to download the eclipse one so what i will do is i just like you know here will create for you a one directory just I don't have even this Eclipse in my computer. So I'm just like, you know, creating a directory here. And then let's say, and during, during in this, let's will get like, you know, save. So it will be going to take a several minutes based on our internet speed. This is generally get downloads. Let's will see here. This looks like get download. So it is taking a nine minutes over the eight minutes. So parallelly, so let's like, you know, get this Eclipse, like, you know, get download. I will be going to navigate here. One of the remote desktop will be like, you know, offered by uh, Giri that I will be going to connect and I will be going to present you how this instance will be going to works actually. So let me connect to the remote desktop. So here that in this remote desktop, I just will be going to navigate to the Eclipse. The Eclipse like, you know, here in this remote desktop, you will be going to find directly. So we don't need to like, you know, to uh, do any of like installations when you've been connecting to remote desktop because uh, remote desktop like, you know, just comes by default everything. Okay. So I click it many times. It started like, you know, loading many times. I'm just connecting to the remote desktop. I have connected to remote desktop. So in the background, let's get download. However, I will show you the presenting like in you know, all the steps in a clear way. But still, let's like you know we'll move to the remote desktop and we'll quickly navigate to the Eclipse environment here. I'm having here Eclipse. So this is like an you know, Eclipse is a neon edition. So here we have uh, Eclipse as a neon edition. During in this neon edition, you can see here like you know that itself like you know the moment when you double click on Eclipse, uh, it will be going to load actual like you know the workspace launcher how does you like you know managing in the cloud instance of sap web id various workspaces for various like you know projects to like you know to uh, make it like you know to organize in a similar way even like you know eclipse in your computer in which folder you want to store all the instances related to the project development that we will be addressed as a workspace so let's like you know create your workspace as a human and let's like you know, say okay then after you will be going to notice it will be going to load a fresh page with a name called welcome screen and during in that screen you will be going to encounter a welcome page and then you just need to start the development so here this is eclipse is loading by default loading eclipse you won't find anything related to UEFI activities it just comes as a like you know a plain edition you need to top off like you know to integrate UEFI application development plugin you need to press However, this in system I have already did that exercise, but let me present you how to you generally like you know first time when you're connecting to the Eclipse, what are the steps you have to follow? Here, when you navigate to the help, there you will find an option called install new software. The moment when you click on the install new software, here you will be going to find a like you know window. During in this window, you need to present URL called http colon slash slash tools.hana.ondemand.com slash and 
on the moment when you give this url you will be going to see here ufa development toolkits with like you know a version with 1.5 6.1 and then you just need to say next next finish the moment when you say next all the like you know instances of face it will come in a window and you need to accept the license agreement and then like you know next and then like you just need to say finish after the saying the finish so after a couple of minutes so you will be going to see a restart window option that is just not for like your computer that is just for like you know your eclipse only the moment once if you say here restart later when you've been down when you will like you know open the same box space you will be going to encounter that sap ui plugin how do you confirm that confirm also to do you will be going to navigate to the again to the help menu and then you will check about during in the about you supposed to like you know, notice sap ui fi icon and after clicking on that you will be going to notice the version of the ui fi is installed in your sap uh, eclipse edition then later you can start to create a ui fi applications so this is the steps you have to follow let me like you know present these steps in the notes and then we'll move to like you know here uh, actual like you know ui fi application creation however let's like you know do the background that all the exercise so now let me navigate here to place the explicitly sap ui fi plugin what all the steps we follow is navigate navigate to help menu during in this help menu you will find option called install new software you just need to say install new software after navigating the install new software you will find a window in the window present url so this uh, you need to present a url https colon slash slash you just need to say tools dot hana dot on demand.com forward slash your eclipse version name if you're working with a neon you just like you say neon after immediately it will give you it will give you a list of softwares available list of softwares are available so during in this list select sap ui5 select ui development kit then say next and then say next that's like license agreement and then say finish after like you know minutes so here the note after successful installation it will prompt a restart eclipse window restart eclipse confirmation window confirm then confirm so after the confirmation you will be going to recheck sap ui5 plugin so recheck sap ui5 is installed or not by navigating so again you will navigate to the help menu during in the help menu you will find about during in the about you will see sap ui5 icon on the double click single click it's a single click you will see sap ui5 version is installed so this way you will confirm that sap ui5 is installed then the next step is here we'll be going to like you know, do the application development so here we'll start to like you know, a UI5 application. Let's say create UI5 application. The steps to create a UI5 application here, you won't find any templates. It is just a simple plain visa to create a application. Navigate to file, navigate to new, and then say other, and then like you know, type SAP UI5. So during in the search, type SAP UI5 and then select ui5 application and development and then place project name and then um, select view type and place view name and then finish with these steps through you can confirm that 
you will like in you know, a project is got created and then to run the application right click on project and then say run as web app preview so by default it will load in the internet explorer within the eclipse so here a note it will load by default by default within eclipse defaulted browser you can copy copy url and load any of our choice browser that way you can like you know confirm that your UEFA application development is being started in your eclipse environment so these are the steps you need to like you know do when you want to like you know to first time to doing your UEFA application development when if it is eclipse or when if it is even a hana studio so these are the steps you have to follow so now let's like you know check here you can see after like you know saying a next it has come like in you know, here license accept agreement and then we have a finish already in this mission it has been get installed so i just ignore that and then i will say cancel then after to confirm again as i mentioned you need to navigate help and then check about eclipse and over here you will find sap ui as an icon after clicking on that you can see the 1.5.6 is been already installed so this way you can confirm that sap ui is available and then to create a project navigate to file and navigate to new and then say other and type here sap ui5 and then you will find the application project say next provide the project name let's say hello world and then here you just need to like you know say next again and then you need to provide the name of the view let's say screen one select the type of the view as xml and then say next say finish now you will be going to notice the project will be going to create very similar way that web id how does it is created similar way the project is get creates during in this eclipse it will take several seconds and then it will be going to place your actual like in a project in your project explorer you will be going to notice there will be a view and there will be a controller so many resources it will load actually so what all those resources and all i will be going to walk through in our following lectures at this moment we will be just like you know testing our environments are being presented as per like you know as expected so now here we have a like you know this application to test right click on the project and then you just need to say right click and then you will be going to notice run as an option and then click on web app preview the moment when you say web app preview as i mentioned you will be going to notice this application is being trying to rendering in the eclipse defaulted web browser is internet explorer it is integrated inside the eclipse itself that like you know trying to rendering the your actual application now you can take the copy of your it's still like you know it is loading so now you can see application is loaded after application loaded you can take the copy of this url and you can present enough in your one of the choice of the web browsers whether it's a google chrome or whether it is a safari or whether it is a mozilla or internet at microsoft edge or anything inside you can place this url and you can recheck the application so now you can see this application is loaded with the so here we don't find any like you know controls if you remember during the web id it is loaded table and all and we have noticed a drag and drop options but here you won't find anything it is just like an you know, editor to write the code on your own for example if you remember during that time i have a drag and button control and then i have a drag and link control those controls you can like you know present here on your own so you need to present link controls and you need to provide the text for that some like you know text and here for the button if you want to give some text you need to give the some text so with this like in a way button and link will be get creates and those controls whether it is 
presented or not you just need to reload and you can see button and link controls are loaded so when you write code then only you will be going to see actual like you know controls where it is in eclipse but where it is web id you have a provision that drag and drop so this way the eclipse is being presented in our computer as we can like you know confirm so this is the steps what are the steps we have followed the very first step is you need to get download the eclipse from the like you know tools.hana.com through and then you can navigate to the eclipse home page then once if you download the eclipse you just need to extract and install so here after the installing you just need to place explicitly as a ui5 plugin what are the steps we have to follow to place the sap ui5 is you just need to navigate to the help and select the install new software option and then you just need to like you know navigate it will be going to load a window during in that you need to place the url and then it will be going to give you the list of softwares available select the ufa development kit option and then you just need to like you know say next and then like you know next you will be going to accept the licenses and then after you just need to like you know finish so after saying the finish after a couple of minutes after a couple of seconds Based on your internet, the minutes or seconds will get to Alice. And then after successful installation, it will prompt a restart Eclipse confirmation window and then confirm. Once if you confirm, you can recheck the like you're navigating the steps through whether like you know here UIFI it is available or not. Once if it is done, you will be going to start to create a UIFI application with these steps. So then after like you know the application is created to test the application, you will be going to say right click and say run as. If you remember during in the like you know a clip web id there as i mentioned that for doing the unit testing for the selenium testing i mean like the runtime testings to do many like you know testing scripts are been part of the code when you've been working with a web id but eclipse you won't find but still today like you know in the world along the global like you know 20 percent of the developments were still going on eclipse it is just because of reason the who are like being like you know erps are running in the old like you know erps they don't want to like you know navigate to the latest like you know things so in such cases they don't ready for like you know to get into the license and additions to like you know use for the developments in such business cases in such business scenarios for such kinds we'll be going to do the development using the eclipse but however honest speaking here the eclipse is the first channel was like you know introduced for the ufa application development later hana studio later river id later that it is sap web id later sap web id today it is named as sap web id full stack so that's where like you know the journey is being improvised developer to reduce the their efforts towards the application development that way the like you now application developments becomes more faster such way application developments will be like you know given to the our customers within like you know less frames of the timelines okay same steps will be followed for the hana studio as well you can check here let me navigate to here in this remote desktop we have hana studio as well as the same way eclipse how does it is prompted hana studio also will prompt like you know with the similar way to select the workspace editors also will looks like same as the both but the way it is like you know it is the pre-packaged where it is hana studio where eclipse it's not pre-packaged that's the only the difference but the development the shortcut keyboard everything are as same as it is let me present you so that you will understand here so here it is like you know the hana studio is already navigated to one of my workspace however this here if you check help if you can navigate same as the way you will be going to like you know find the eclipse inside even hana studio inside the ufa application development to do similar steps so let me here it is uh, trying to loading the my hana studio was like you know got hanged for seconds because it was trying to load the one of the uh, url uh, let's get uh, present
I hope it's been like you know taking so much of time. So we'll do one thing. We'll we'll like you know we'll we'll wait for that like you know to get render. But background will have a like you know here that it is like you know Eclipse was downloaded here successfully. Just like you know we'll navigate to the downloads. However, that's a part of like you know here in this Hammond directory we presented. So during in this we have like you know Eclipse. So this Eclipse you can just need to like you know do extract here. So you just need to say seven zip and like you know here extract to. So it will take like in you know, several seconds this Eclipse to get download and extract. So to extract again, as I mentioned, you need to have a, like you know it is 7G pair like you know you should have the extracted tool. After having the extracted tool only, you will be in a position to extract it. It takes like you know, again several seconds. So the download is comes as a prepackaged, and then you need to just extract. Extract like you know will take several seconds. Once if it is extracted, you can directly start to like you know, use the Eclipse. So it still is extracting. Let's will get extract in the background. So uh, let's like you know remote desktop. Let's will see here. Hana Studio is being started. Uh, prompting or not? I guess it started. Now you can see here about SAP Hana Studio inside. You can see SAP UI5. Similar way SAP UI5 also been. And then again, like you know, to create a project, same options, new, and then say other. And during in this type SAP UI5, you will find the application project, same steps, and then say next, hello Hammond, and then say next, and then say like in screen one, say XML, say finish. Then you will be going to create a project, and that will be comes into the project explorer. Same as the way you did, like you know, with the running application. Similar way, right click and say, like you know, run as. You will find a web app preview and run the application. But this is remains same. There is whether it is Eclipse or Hana Studio because the both are like you know have the same like you know uh, instances. But the only the difference you will see is where Eclipse is like in you know, a manual uh, installations of the each and every component against the SAP's development instances but where it is HANA Studio it is a prepackaged so now take the copy of this uh, URL and put it in the, the required Browser and then like you know just got the URL. So this is the way you can reconfirm Eclipse and HANA Studio both are as the same. There is no difference in between Eclipse and HANA Studio in the developer perspective for the developing the any instances. So now here we'll start to like you know today along with this environments I will be move to like you know new topic called here the actual like you know here it is to create a UI for applications what like you know the knowledge we needed steps to create sorry it is a prerequisite create ui5 applications the prerequisite here is the only two things at the moment we need to focus one is about mbc architecture second thing is about xml so with this through you will be going to in a position to create the user interfaces the first thing is for the any application phase is required that phase will be get construct with this like you know through knowledge so today we'll understand about what is mbc architecture so here mvc architecture is actually like you know describes model view control i hope you've been coming with a background of the with a like you know web team pro app or like if you've been coming with a some like you know any of the developments if you've been earlier if you've done with the java or if you've done with like you know .net all these like you know development channels were like you know been extensively they were using this mvc architecture model view controller so what the like you know job of this model view controller is all the way whatever the source code you generally develop the source code to be more organized the more way of like you know communication to present in between like you know one module to another module so they have this MVC architecture is present with respect to this MVC architecture application developments becomes more easy and application flow of execution will become more easy and for the better like you know in the future for whoever been developers want to join and enhance this application or upgrading this application 
everything becomes easy when you've been select this MVC architecture. So during the model, what you will see is data like you, know, you will find in the model and view is a like, you know, front face. So always it is a front face. You will be going to see the view control is a mediator is a like in you know, a mediator between your model and view between your model and view so here not, not only this mediator it will do like you know various jobs of like you know event handling and even it will be like in you know, a part of runtime runtime like in you know, a presentation logic to load runtime runtime let's say like you know user interfaces creation will be part of like you know done in the control itself and then it is like you know inside itself you will find the various like you know client side validations part of your controller client side validations if i want to do it that also like you know part of your controller as well as models initialization model if you want to like use the model initialization is also part of your controller like that many jobs will be done taken care by the control this control is like a kernel kernel to your like you know mvc architecture so here whenever you want to like you know present some data Data, that presenting data will be part of your data so this uh, data will be like you know presenting come with like a you know, mock or like you can set dummy data or you can like you know see as a actual data so here to segregate like you know this actual data or dummy data so to differentiate they have introduced various types of like you know, here models in sap ui file library the models are be defined in the form of json or in the form of or data or in the form of XML or in the form of resource models are available. So what like you know each type of model in the following sessions I will give you a detailed knowledge but over the MVC architecture in SAP UI for application development to complete we have these are the four different types of models were offered along with the same way to create a front face in the UI for application developer like you know can create the front face by using XML or they can create a front face of view by using of like you know a javascript or they can like you know construct by using a javascript object notation through or they can construct by using of xml so with this um, with this like you know different possibilities based through you can like you know construct the views in sap ui5 what is among of the recommended here the view to use is xml so let me like you know, say here note recommended by sap recommended by sap to select create UI5 applications is XML. Yes. Why only XML? So let's understand technical part of XML because is XML are easy to understand and XML are XML are pass quickly passes faster than options then it is a mobile device or your tablet devices so during in this case web browser xmls are actually like you know fastest quickly with respect to that sap like you know all the standard applications the samples the best practices everything like you know they build it in xml so here all SAP web IDE inside templates by default by default will encounter encounter the views are in the form of the views are in the form of XML so you will find in the form of XML so along with that um, many best practices many best practices practices are given by SAP in by SAP the views are in XML so with all this respect to decisions we also like you know do the exercises here all the like you know application development to do in the form of XML and here all the way like you know controller we don't have any options controllers are strictly developed by using JavaScript so here controllers Controllers are in SAP UI5 defined 
using JavaScript. So we don't we have only option is JavaScript. Generally, people get confused when like you know say JavaScript and Java. There are like a you know, huge difference between Java and JavaScript. There's no any like you know common in between Java and JavaScript. The sounds both are same, but there has like a huge difference between Java and JavaScript. These are like you know the knowledge you need to have before driving the UFA application development into MVC architecture. As well as we need to have a knowledge on XML. So what is XML? XML is actually like you know called XML are acronym. XML is an acronym to describe extension markup language. It's an extension markup language. So here XML are defined. XML are defined using tags. Tags are comes as open and close. So these tags are defined. Tags are defined in angular brackets. So this is only the knowledge. We don't have any much complex syntax for the XML. So here, example, the syntax is to create XML tag is you will be going to have a open xml tag and close xml tag so one as described as open other one described as a close with respect to this you can like you know construct any of the way if you see today in sap ui5 many libraries are available sap ui5 controls like um, many libraries to many controls which has been defined so here the controls are like example table you want to define so how do you define table is just like this and if you want to like you know, use some button control, how do you use a button control? So just like simple like in you know, a syntax is you just need to like you know, present button and then close button. Every control by default will give you some user experience. So you will be going to see that user experience in the like you know, presenting after the control in your view. And for example, like you know, if you want to use some text control, you just need to like you know, present text control. And if you want to use some input control, then you just need to like you know, specify the input control. So like this, you can define the, all the way the controls. So the note here it is, what I wanted to explain the note is every SAP UI5 control, every SAP UI5 control by default, by default define, by default define, with some user experience define with some user experience this user experience to extend there are many things we have available i will explain you that part so along along sap ui5 controls are default responsive Just a second, please. This is like you know the way we generally like you know construct the all the way the UEFI controls. So all SAP UEFI controls are default responsive. Definitely you will come with a question that what is responsive? Responsive is defined all user experiences all UI will be adopted according to the screen resolutions. So then we will call it is as a Responsive. So this is for today and tomorrow in a session will extend this controls like you know how to be extend the user experience how this control through like you know, we can present like you know some set of a pro application some set of request application screens will start to create in the next session. Thank you. So any questions Hamad you have please raise your questions.
and in between before closing of today's session i just will show you that eclipse is like you know you can see it is got extracted and now if you double click on this particular like instance you will be going to see that eclipse will be going to render this is like an eclipse id 2019 something like a new name they have come up with that so it's not like neon it's not like an oxygen it's not like a kepler or mars this is something new so all the way we will be working on the new additions so this is eclipse ide 2019 icon 6 so this describes that 6th is previous month 20 2019 is like in this current year so this eclipse like you know will prompt a workspace to select similar this they just they improvise the solution inside the like you know eclipse engine but the developer perspective you see whether it's like an older one or a new one will have the same shortcut same thing same way building the like you know constructing the ui5 applications or any other platform derived applications you can see this is started like I'm giving you workspace to select so you can select the workspace and then you can continue it okay this is for the done for the today's session if you have any questions please raise your questions and then i will walk through your questions Uh, I am fine, uh, Sini. Uh, I will do some exercise, and uh, if I am I have any doubts, I will come back tomorrow. Please. So many things you have like in your stack to do exercises. The very the very first is if you remember, first day itself I have given you assignment to have a look on the SAP UI5 controls. What are like UI5 controls are available that you can just like you know, walk through on it. Second thing. Is web id cloud edition registration and get like in you know, hollow world application to create sap web id version edition to create and walk through the eclipse steps and create ufa application understand these controls fonda and then like you start to place the trial and error with controls and then see what your experience has been obtaining so these are the assignments you have and you have to follow it okay yeah sure thank you Haman. bye bye have a good day we'll catch up tomorrow and i just want to like you know that huh? Are uh, uh, do you okay if I take this session on uh, uh, early mornings like eight o'clock? Is it uh, yeah, fine with you? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Sir. So fine. So then tomorrow we'll uh, like you know connect at morning like you know seven forty-five. Let's keep the seven forty-five so that we can like you know join at least by seven fifty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So tomorrow onwards we'll have a seven fifty class. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, thank you.